Hello people, we are headed to Florida Relays this weekend, so I am about to take off on my flight. I will take you guys along and make sure you tune in to see what my trip will look like. Hey y'all, so we finally made it to the hotel. It was not that bad of a travel day actually. We flew into Orlando, Florida, took a rental car. Now I'm in my hotel room and I'm exhausted because I've been up since like 6 a.m. and it's kind of early for me. So I'm pretty tired, but it was not that terrible of a travel. The weather is so nice. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of this room. This is my room, I've got two beds nice space nice sunlight my favorite part is this balcony really love having the ability to just how do you open this thing so this is the view from the hotel room it's a bit chilly outside right now because there was just a thunderstorm i'm sure you can imagine because it's florida it rains a lot but this is beautiful i'm gonna be out out here in the mornings for sure i love balconies but yes this is my view so I'll probably take a little bit of a nap right now to kind of catch up on the sleep I missed. And then, um, yeah, I gotta do some hotel stuff. So if you guys are familiar with my Italy vlog, I showed you a little bit of what I do when I go to track meets. So when I usually get here, I tend to do a shakeout. Today's not too bad, travel wasn't too far for me. Like Europe is like a seven, eight hour flight, which this is like a two hour flight because it's in America. So it wasn't too bad, but I still will do like a shakeout at the hotel um, and yeah. Maybe my recovery boots, I have my Normatex. So, you know, I'm drinking a lot of water because it's gonna be stupid hot for me. Like, I live in Michigan, y'all. So, it's not that warm. So, right now, I'm gonna struggle a bit with the heat, but I'm excited because I love running with the heat. So, I'm gonna drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. I'm super excited. This is gonna be a relay meet, so it's just a good meet to kind of open up with and see where I'm at. Indoor season was um, fun, but I think outdoor is where it's at for me because I really love the 100 meter hurdles. So super excited. I'll be doing a shuttle hurdle relay, a four by one and a four by four. So it's gonna be a training meet. Um, I'll be updating you guys as it goes on and I'll let you know at the end of this video how, it, how it's gonna go. And you guys will see the results. So I'm on a search now for a fitness room or something. I just need to go to the bike because my legs are a little tight from the flight, but we don't really have like a training session today, and it's late. So I just took a nap, y'all. I feel so rejuvenated. But I called the front desk to ask them if they had a fitness center, and they put me on hold for like 10 minutes. I was like, I'm just gonna go search for it myself. <laughs> After a while, I was like, wait, why am I still on hold? I could just walk around. So I'm looking now, but this hotel is super confusing. So yeah, don't know where I'm going, but hopefully I'll find one in a second. Look what I found. It was super hard to find this place, y'all. Like, I had to travel for like 10 minutes just to find it, but I did. So yeah, I'm thinking I'm going to use this little thing right here and bike out a little bit. Good morning. I am so refreshed, y'all. That bed is I was knocked, like knocked out. I mean, it, to be fair, travel always takes a lot out of me, but I'm feeling great. So, gonna go um, to breakfast now, then I have a little bit of time before training, so I'm gonna do some, you know, just chilling, relaxing, um, some my like, morning devotional stuff, and then, yeah, training, a few things I wanna get done. My boyfriend comes in today too, as well, cause he's coming to watch me, so I'm really excited to see him. So yeah, I cannot wait to see Florida today. I'm really looking forward to going to the track, and yeah, so come along with me. So I just finished 
breakfast and I'm outside now. It's feeling really nice and I'm enjoying myself. But one thing I want to share with you guys today is one thing I've been doing is I've been drinking two liter bottles of water a day at least. So I decided that I was not drinking enough water going into the new year. I need to be drinking more. So one way to track that is to have a bottle and it's been helping me a lot. Um, I at least try to get two liters in a day. I usually get about three to four. I noticed that at practice I would be dehydrated. Um, but now I'm feeling more, you know, less thirsty. I feel like my muscles aren't tightening up, um, especially when it's hot. Like today, it's going to be hot, or this weekend at least. And I need to get as much water as I can. So I recommend if you have some type of bottle, um, whether it's this little two liter bottle I bought or just like a track bottle, put a number of how many you want to get done a day or drink a day because I think that's really going to help you with if you train running or if you just want to feel better throughout the day and not feel dehydrated do that have a specific goal and don't make it a goal that's super hard um, but make it a goal that makes sense for you and try to hit that every day and if not pass that and that's one thing that's been helping me so yeah moral of the story drink more water it'll really help and track it time to head to the track I had a few layers on this morning just because I want to make sure I'm warm but I'll probably end up taking them off pretty quickly because the sun I think just came out so let's go it's a bit nippy out here what you think it's 68 degrees out here what you talking about that's chilly Bro, stop. I mean it's better than where we were but still so I was told to sit down over here while we get like accreditation and all that stuff but I've never been to Florida well, I've been to Florida, but I've never been to Florida really. So the University of Florida is like a brand new experience for me. It's done. I think I got about two shades darker. My legs feel pretty good, but yeah. Tomorrow I'm doing some relay exchanges because I'm running 4x1 hurdles, shuttle hurdles, and 4x1, so that should be interesting. But yeah, it got really warm out here, so it's feeling a lot better. Super beautiful. Hey guys, so I'm back in the hotel. I had to go make an ice bath once I got back from training, and it was interesting because the water does not get cold here. <laughs> So I literally like had to go get like 10 buckets of ice just to make the water cold. And then I had to add more ice to make it like an ice bath cold. So it took me a while. Um, did that, got a little cleaned up. So I have some high-waisted shorts on and a long sleeve just because it's not like super hot. But it's like a perfect shirt for like a warmer day but not like a hot day. And it's really light. And then I have some gladiators on. And then I have my aviators right here. And yeah. I'm ready to go look around. I'm about to get my nails fixed and probably just drive around a little bit. Taking the rental car for a stroll. You guys wanna see what it looks like? Nice little Ford, I believe. It's really cozy. They're like, choose whatever car you want. And we were just like, um, let's get the gold one because this is super flaky. All right, I just need to adjust stuff. I'm so not used to other cars, I just drive my car. What's up? So many decisions. So I thought I'd show you guys the final product. I had to get this done. So I pretty much hurt this finger in the weight room. And I have like no nail, so I had to get fake nails because I needed to cover this up because this one looked crazy. But yeah, I kind of like the color. It's pretty summery, and I want to start getting like more summer colors. So, yep, these are my race nails this week. Look who joined me. Hmm. About to take a stroll in Florida. He flew all the way from Michigan to spend time and to support me. Super sweet. So, anyways, I have a little bit of time until practice. Say hello. Hello. Where are we headed? We're headed to a park. We're going to a park. That went well. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to look at, is it a lake or a river or something at the park? It's a wetland area. Oh, wetland area. I don't know the exact name.
So is he. And we are going to Wahoo. Seafood Grill. Yeah. Because it's Friday and we're eating seafood. And it's going to be amazing, hopefully. Never tried it. I heard seafood in Florida is a lot better. You know a lot about that, huh? Some of it is, especially on the coast, it's really good. So we're gonna see how this place is. And we're gonna see how this Nigerian woman likes cro crawfish. Crawfish. Crawfish we boil. Eat crawfish and like all the soups. So I'm interested to see what it'll taste like here. Especially just like actual crawfish. I don't think I've ever tried it. I've never tried it. So it should be a nice experience. Crawfish. It's taking me a minute to wake up, y'all. I literally drove in from Nashville. I left. It's race day! Woohoo! Excited to compete soon. This guy's been helping me out a lot. Thank you very much. And we are ready to go. Michigan as you can tell I have my coat on and it's freaking cold like it snowed yesterday or two days ago and it came back to snow so anyways um meat was great Florida was really fun really enjoyed my time really enjoyed doing relays I haven't done relays in like six years so that was a lot of fun um I don't really know exactly my splits on a lot of the things I did but I do know that it was really good training and I got a lot of just good work in. It was a training week for me and I'm gonna actually open up um, in a few weeks for my individual event. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yes, thank you so much for tuning into my video, you guys. I really hope you liked it and enjoyed it and learned a little bit about um, my comeback season and the season that I hope to just, you know, get back on things under my feet and start feeling good again. Enjoy just being back out and competing and just having a full season. This is gonna be my first full season back with an indoor and a full outdoor season since I've been hurt in 2017. So really excited, it's starting to feel like myself again. So just keep me in your prayers, you guys. And if you have not yet, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get more of the videos throughout my season and just throughout uh, my career and whatever else I have to post for you guys. Make sure you subscribe and click that notifications bell so you'll be alerted for when I post. And let me know in the comments of anything that you found interesting and I will see you guys all in my next video.